Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Currently a Sunday morning. I was going to come out early, but it was absolutely chucking it down. Um, they did forecast about 11 o'clock. Um, it would ease up. Um, it's eased up before that. Today, I've only got a pan of rag, and I thought I'd throw a few packet of sand hills in. I've come down for place. Um, at the moment, the place is not that big. But at the end of the day, if you're not out there, you're not trying. Sun's come out, there's a bit of wind, but it's really nice. So, what I'm doing today, um, I've been supplied a load of new rigs. So what I will be doing is trying them out today. So what I'll be doing today is I've got a free flapper on. Um, the other one I'll be trying today is um, a pulley rig as well. So the free hook flapper, Got one o, uh, one Sakimas on there. Um, the pulley rigs, two o hooks. I've literally just put the first one out. And I'm just about to bake the second one up. But it's a beautiful morning. I'm out. If I blank, so be it. That's part of fishing. If I catch, even better. So let's get into some fishing, guys. Let's hope we can get a couple out. All right, what I got this morning. All I've done was got a packet of sandal out of my freezer. And these are the real small ones. I absolutely love these. Uh, all I do with those, which I'll show in a bit, is I just head and tail, and then I whip them on, or basically feed them on like a ragworm onto the hook, and then a bit of bait elastic. Um, I got my bait last night, but luckily I've got a fridge at home. These. Absolutely beautiful rag one for today. These are perfect size. Look at the size of them, they're beauties. Absolutely beautiful rag one. But that's going to be enough for my morning session. I might have, I might have some left, I might not, but it depends how it goes. Um, rod wise today, um, I've got the new Fusa, which is out in March, and I've got my old Renaissance, both mated up with my Shimano Ortegras. Now, I've been using this Fusa now for what, over a month. I absolutely love it. When you cast it, the recovery rate is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And the bite detection, I've got both glass tips on. Obviously the Renaissance when that comes out is new twin tips. Now the left Fusa is second generation carbon. And I'm absolutely loving this rod guys, absolutely loving it. But there we are, so basically, I've got the pulley on the Fusa, I've got the free hook flapper on the Renaissance. Uh, we're on the neat side, the tide is coming in. We've got a nice little bit of surf there, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just hoping there are a few places about. Normally I like coming early morning, <coughs> about five o'clock in the morning getting that early sun up that's normally when I hit the place I'm a bit late today because of the weather but the view is absolutely cracking there's people getting in the water there swimming but it's a stunning morning the old current buns out it's a bit blowy from right to left but look at the surf over the hook sands absolutely stunning it is down here all we need to do now so that picture right in front of you is to add a fish. But I've not said it for a while, guys. Um, don't forget to hit that like, hit a subscribe as well. It really does help my channel. I don't like saying it too much, but it don't hurt now and again. Let's see if we can get anything going this morning, but it's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning morning. Look at that. What a view from my office today. Absolutely beautiful. 
Right, what I've done now, I've switched one over to a pulley wishbone. Green and black beads, size 40 hooks. Loaded up with a few ragworm. Down to the old gripper. So basically, I've still got the free up flapper out there. I'll take the pulley off and I'll give this one a good go. But we're nearly at the bottom of the tide now. Oh, she flies out. Like I say, if you watch the recovery in this rod, it's, it's quite impressive. It's really impressive. But what you've got to watch is when you fish up on these groins, is when the tide changes. Because um, obviously you've got a green post right out in front of you. And the problem with that is, when the tide turns to come back in, the lines will go from the left, even though grip leads are on there, and it'll pull it to the right around that green post, and you will lose gear. So you've got to have your wits about you. I know it's only a neat tide, but that's what I do. So both rods now fully baited up. I'm actually sweating. It's, it's really warm. The wind's died down a little bit now as well. So I'm hoping when that tide starts running back in, some will come out. But in the day, it's a beautiful morning out. It really is a beautiful morning out. Obviously, being up here, the amount of dogs that are on the beach today, off their leads, it's just safer up here. Um, they're not on their leads. They always come around, they nick your bait. Um, it's happened to quite a lot of us lately. And the dog owners just don't seem to care. So I'm just up here. My tripod's covering the back of me. And it's safer. So that left rod there, which is the old Renaissance, absolutely cracking bike. Obviously with the old GoPros, you can't really zoom in. And where I am, I'm quite restricted because I've got a barrier around me. But that was a beautiful bite. I'm just hoping that would be a nice place. So maybe swapping over for the old place wishbone is um, hopefully done the trick. Twice it went, but it stopped now. But look at it, this is perfect. You just don't get a lot better than this. Look at that, absolute cracking. This is part of why I like fishing. I just come down here, sit, chill out, sit with your thoughts. You just couldn't get better. I mean, we're in February still, the sun's out. And it'd be nice to get a fish out of here this morning, that's for sure. Let's just see if that left rod goes again, guys. If it does, I'll bring you back uh, when I bring it in. Right, what I'm going to do, let's see if this fish is there, guys. I don't know whether it's set or there's a bit of weight there. Oh, yeah. And now it's gone light. Might have just lost that one. They are small size four hooks. So I think I might have just lost that one. There's a bit of weight there and then it's just gone dead light. What a shame. It'd be nice to get a fish out. If there is a fish there, it's going to be small. So. This is on the wishbone. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. There's nothing coming up yet. No, I missed that one. What a shame. Absolute shame. But there we go. I'll get this one baited back up, but what I'll do is I'll get this one back out, guys. Right, just had a beautiful bite again on the free up flapper. Let's see if I've missed this one. I reckon I missed it again, guys. Totally missed it again by the feel of it. Don't know what's going on this morning. Beautiful, like, flatty bites. Just don't seem to be hooking up.
the old dark sky has come over again now. Yeah, I'll take totally missed that one again. I don't know why. Yeah, I totally missed it. Yeah, totally missed that one again. Right, let's get this one baited up. We're getting back out. It's all part of fishing. Right, let's get some fresh ragworm on this for it, flap and we'll get it straight back out, guys. Right, what am I gonna do? I think I've shown it full. Nice little sand eels. What I do, pair of scissors. Slip the tail. And slip the head. Then what I'll do, it's basically like a ragworm. Once I can find a hook, I'm using a free hook flapper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put two sand eel and I'm going to stick a rag on the, the other hook. But what I do basically, put the hook in the top, like that, feed it around, like that, just like a ragworm. Just like that. And then what I'll do, I'll gently whip it with a bit of bait elastic. I'll tip the camera because I've got the weight on there, but basically, hopefully you can see. Don't go mad, you, don't, you haven't got to go mad with the bait elastic. Just make sure the sand eel's nice and straight up there. Nice bit of whipping on there. That's basically it. Obviously, I'll cut that little tail off that one. And what I'll do, I'll put a sand eel again on the middle hook. Basically, tail off, head off. Straight to the back of the tail. Oh, slippery little sucker. Straight in. Feel it around like that. Bait elastic. like that and then what I'll do on the very last one I'll just change it a little bit I'll put a couple of ragworm or maybe one big fat ragworm nice big juicy ragworm it's exactly the same principle with a ragworm which all I do put the hook in just below the head like that feed it right on through pull it through you can see the hook but that's a fresh bait ready to go out. I've had a few good bites this morning, but I've not actually collared anything yet. But it's, it's nice being out. Right, let's get this one out. This morning, bit of a struggle with the fishing. Had those few bites, nothing. Um, I put two, three up flappers out there. But, look at that. The first bream of 2024 for me. And it's an absolute beauty of an early bream. Absolute beautiful fish. It was only in the lip. I've got to keep it on the rod, but it absolutely smashed that new fusa. So that's a fusa properly christened now, but it's a beautiful bream. Absolute beautiful bream. And again, straight back guys, I'm not keeping it. And I put him back, happy to catch that for the session. Otherwise, it would have been another blank, guys. So, happy days. Let's go and get it back. Absolute beauty. Right, all I've got to do now is just be careful climbing down these rocks. I could keep this bream, but I'm not going to. He's going to go straight back. I'm just so chuffed. To get that bream so what I'll do is I'll just gently climb down these rocks oh there we go right and I pop him in guys 
and he's gone. Absolutely chuffed the bits for that, literally chuffed the bits. I've been sat here all morning. It don't annoy me if I don't catch. I saw that rod tip go on the new Fusa. What a cracking bite. But there we go, happy days. Let's see if we can get a few more out. Right, here we go guys, into another bite. Hopefully, we've got a place on this time. Absolute cracking bite. Ah, uh, I've got a funny feeling I've just lost this fish. I think, I'll, oh, is it still there? Is it still there? That is the question. Is it another bream or have we got a final place? We've got a fish, guys. We've got another fish. Oh, we've got a lovely bass. Absolute beautiful bass. Absolute cracking bass. Just bear with me for a minute, let me get this camera set up. Absolute beautiful silver bar. Look at that. Literally in the lip. I'll get them off guys. I'll give you a quick look and then we'll get that straight back. Chuff the bits with that. Right, there we go guys. Literally lip hooked. Absolute perfection, absolute perfection. Look at that, beautiful silver lines. Absolutely cracking fish to catch. Not the biggest, but we're catching, which is good. Beautiful bite on the rod. Right, I'm just gonna pop this back, get some fresh bait out there. Hopefully, I can smash a few more before I finish this video. Right, let's go and get this absolute perfection. Let's get a nice shot with that in the background. Look at that, guys. I love a good old bass. There you go. Well happy with that. I thought I was going to have a real dead session, but yeah, chuffed the bits. Right, I'm going to get baited up. We're getting that one back out. That Fusa has produced all my fish this morning. Absolutely superb. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm probably going to just bake this one up. Have one more try, just to see if we can get something else out of there. I was hoping for a place. That's what I've been hoping for. Um, I've still got a little bit of rag left. But I've been at it for a good few hours now. So, but I've got all the success on the free up flappers again. It always seems to be the free up flappers. So I'm just gonna put a bit of fresh bait on all three. Um, obviously the other rod, I've already got a free hook baited up, that's already out there again. But all the fish today have been on that Black Rock Fusa. Um, the bite, it's just a shame I couldn't really catch it on the video. But that bring literally shook that tip of that Fusa, absolutely lovely. Um, I'm really impressed. Um, I'll show you at the end of this video, guys, what rigs I've been using. Um, I don't normally push people's gear unless I've tried it um, for a couple of weeks, but I've tried them today, and I've got to say, it's one of the tiniest rigs I've personally used. The knots, the quality, absolutely brilliant so before i pack up i'll tell you where the rigs have been supplied from so i just get a nice little bit of ragworm on there i've doubled this one up and i get a fresh bit of chum out there i'll pan the camera back in a minute just to give you a better view <laughs> but basically all i'm doing is i'm casting over the top of the sandbar that's all I'm doing. And obviously you can feel the sandbar. 
when you start to reel back, obviously the lead digs in, you can feel it literally go over the top of the sandbar. But eventually, I've had a good morning. Um, it's just nice to get away from pout and whiting. But today, I've basically got sent rigs. Hopefully you can see that. Aaron's hand tied fishing rigs. He's on Facebook. His link's in my channel. That's what I've caught my fish on today. Not my own rigs. The knots and everything is absolute quality, guys. The link's in my channel for his Facebook. His prices are really, really good. I'm going to leave them out now. I'll see what happens. That's the last cast. I'm going to pack up. I'm going to go home. I'm absolutely ank marvin. And I'll bring you back in about 15 minutes. Hopefully with another fish. If not, it'll be a goodbye. It'd be nice if we could get this final place out of here today. I'm hoping to get a place. There's a little bit of weight there. So we could possibly, I'm hoping, to get the target of a place. Don't care what size it is. I just want to get a nice little place. But yeah, it's, there's weight there. There's definitely weight there. But now it seems to have gone light. Whether it's swimming in with me, I'm not too sure. I'll have to get down these rocks a little bit. But if I got a place, then I'd be so happy. Oh, so it's on. Oh, yeah, we've got another little bass, guys. We've got a bass. Lovely little bass there. Eh? What I'll do is I'll show you on the camera. Again, on the free hook flapper. Absolutely chuffed to bits for that on the last on the last cast out. I have got a little bit of bait left, so what I'll probably do. Again, this is only straight in the lip. There we go. Happy with that guys. Condition is absolutely beautiful for bass. Right, I'm gonna pop this one off, I'm gonna get them straight back. Happy days, one more. Right, let's go and get this fish back. All you gotta do is just be, like I say, just be careful if you go down these rocks, guys. But there we go, I'm more than happy with that. I just wait that little bit of surf to go. Gone. Absolutely chuffed the bits for that. Right, I'm gonna get baited up. I'm gonna have one last cast, just use that bait up, and that's, that'll be it for today. Right, this is the last reel in on both rods now. There's literally bits and pieces of ragworm left. I did have a bite on this, but it didn't go again. So, whether there's anything there, I don't know. We'll soon find out. Well, I've had a beautiful morning out, absolute beautiful morning out. Yeah, we've had one rain shower. That disappeared in about 10 minutes. But I've really enjoyed my session of the day. I thought I was going to blank, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing on that. Yeah, nothing on that one. But there's still a little bit of bait on there. I'll probably just flop that back out because I put fresh bait out on the other rig. But this is glorious. Absolutely glorious. I think actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually. I'm going to put that straight back out. I'm not going to waste a ragworm. Um, like I said, I've only got bits and pieces left. So I might as well pop that back out for 10 minutes. I'll, the other rod's only just gone out. So I'll give that another lob out. Beautiful. Right, I'm gonna get back up to my tripod, get off these rocks. Let's just see if we can get that last little fish out, guys. Right, two rods are still out. I'm gonna call it a day, put my camera gear away. I've had a good morning out. I've had a beautiful live stream, absolutely cracking live stream this morning, really enjoyed it. Lucky to pull that black bream in before I turn the live stream off, luckily. Had those two nice, two nice small bass. 
big ones would be better, but I'm still happy catching those small bass. Um, just a big thank you for watching, guys. I've absolutely enjoyed this session this morning, um, and I hope you have as well. You just don't get much better than this. It's been a good day out. I've had a longer session than I expected. But as soon as I started hitting fish, you've got to stay out. You've got to try your luck. And it, and it did pay off. When I pack these woods away, if there's any more fish, I'll put it at the end of the video. But don't forget, today I have been using Aaron's hand-tied rigs. The quality is brilliant, guys. Um, I kept it quiet for the video. Um, I've kept it quiet for the last week. Um, but Aaron's now back my channel. I wanted to check his rigs out. Today, the proof was in the pudding. Beautiful hand-tied rigs. He supplies a lot of people with these rigs as well. So, big thanks to Aaron for hooking me up to his channel, to his shop. Big thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Hope you enjoy this, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. It's goodbye from Dorset. Right, I have got my radio mics, guys, because I packed up. This was the last cast in on the free hook flapper. I got the target eventually. A beautiful place, guys. Look at that. Absolutely chuffed the bits. Absolute cracking fish, guys. Let me see if I can um, gently pick them up. Well made up, absolutely well made up with that. Right, let's get the hook out of him. I'll get a picture. I'm just so made up at the end of the session to finally get that target out. Chuff the bits. Right, I do apologize. I've got no radio mics on. Absolutely nothing. Chuff the bits, guys. Absolutely chuff the bits. It's a little beauty. Absolute beauty. Couldn't be happier. That was the target for the morning. Last cast. Last chance saloon. Pulled it out of the bag, guys. Cracking. Look at the red spots. Stunning condition. I'm just going to go and pop that back. I'll take you down with the camera. Obviously, I haven't got the radio mics on now. Uh, it's all packed away. So it's all a bit quicky quicky. So bear with me. I'll get you a 360. Get you off the tripod. We're going to pop this, pop this little beauty back. What I'll do is I'll, I'll go down into a, a bit of a shallow. But thank you, Mr. Place. You've made my day. Here we go, guys. Off he goes. I am absolutely made up with that. Cracking morning. Bonus footage right at the end of my session. Absolutely bonus. Can't stop smiling now. It ain't the biggest place but it's a place to me. Catch you soon, guys. What an ending. <laughs>